only two digits zeros and ones only and for fractional part the conversion method is different hello everyone welcome to my channel sai surya's academy if you are new to my channel then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more interesting videos in today's video we are going to discuss about decimal to binary conversion this can be done in two simple steps first you want to know about how to convert a decimal to binary as an integer part in step 2 you want to know about how to convert a fractional part of a decimal to a binary number okay these two methods ha has different types that is as a integer part the conversion method is different and for a fractional part the conversion method is different now, now let's move on to the video we all know that the decimal system consists of a base 10 number system which consists of digits from 0 to 9 and in binary number system it consists of base 2 number system which consists of only two digits zeros and ones so now moving on to video consider the example 981.25 this is the decimal number given decimal number now we want to convert the decimal number to a binary number in this the 981 is considered as a integer part and 0.25 is considered as a fractional part first we will solve the integer part then i will explain the fractional part okay now in the integer part consider the base idea is we have to continuously divide the decimal number by 2 till it reaches a minimum value zeros or ones that is after that we cannot be able to divide that number it should reach a minimum value the remainder has to be noted and finally we have to write the binary number from the bottom to the top this is the base idea okay now we can solve it consider 981 when divided by 2 9 to 4 are 8 1 remaining 18 9 again 1 it cannot be divided by 2 so 0 with remainder 1 again divided by 2 2 to 4 again 9 Two fours are eight. One remaining. One and zero ten. So five. Remainder zero. Again two forty five has to be divided by two. One, two, five here. So two. Remainder one. Again one twenty two. when divided by 2 will gives 61 with remainder 0 again when divided by 2 30 with remainder 1 now 30 is going to be divided by 2 which gives 15 with remainder 0 again 2 2 and 4 are 14 so remainder 1 again 2 3 sa 6 remainder 1 now till we doesn't reach a minimum 3 it can be divided by 2 so the final step 2 1 to sa 2 remainder 1 so this is the final step we had reached as a quotient 1 with remainder 1 now it cannot be divided more since we reaches a minimum value zeros and ones that is ones we have so this number has to be written from the bottom to the top okay this is the methodology for solving the decimal number as a integer part now before writing the answer let us solve the fractional part and finally we can combine and write the answer for the 
given decimal number 981.25. Okay. In the base idea for converting the fractional part is we have to multiply the number that is the fractional part by 2. Again, the integer part, the resultant, we get a result. In the particular result, we have to select and write the integer part separately and again the fractional part has to be multiplied by 2. This process has to be continued. There arises a question when this process can be stopped. Suppose when the resultant in the resultant fractional part when it arrives as 0 after that we cannot be able to continue the process so we can stop. For few numbers it can be attained in one or two steps the fractional part as 0. In some numbers we cannot be able to attain. So at that time we can just make as a 3 iteration, a minimum 3 iteration. Okay. Now 0.25 this is the given fractional part. It has to be multiplied by 2 which gives 0 0.50. Here the integer part is 0 and the fractional point is 0 0.50. This is the integer part. So, the integer part is noted here as 0. The fractional point 0 0.50 is again multiplied by 2 which gives the value 1.00. So, here the fractional part attains 0. After that, if we cannot continue the iteration because 0.00 into 2, the zeros will be goes on continuously. So, we can stop the iteration. Suppose for different number, if we cannot attain a 00 in the fractional part, if the list goes on, then we can stop at 3 iterations. Okay. Now, in this, the integer part is 1. So, it is written here. Again, the fractional part is 0, 0. Since we attain the fractional part 0, 0, we are stopping the iteration. And the numbers, that is the collected integer parts has to be written from the top to the bottom. Now in this integer part, we had given, told that the result has to be noted from the bottom to the top. In the fractional part, the separated integers numbers has to be written from the top to the bottom. Now consolidating the result for 981.25 this is the given decimal number. So the values can be written as 1134. Four ones we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 1, 1, 1, 1. Again 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 again 0 1 okay the numbers has been written from the bottom to the top as 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 this is for the integer part and for the fractional part it has to be written from the top to bottom so Point zero 0.01. This is the resultant binary value for the given decimal number 981.25. So, in this we have to remember two steps. When considered as an integer part, it has to be continuously divided by 2. The remainder has to be noted and the resultant portion has to be written from the bottom to the top. Again for the fractional part, you have to multiply the fractional part 0.25 by 2. The iteration can be stopped when we, when we reach as a fractional point 0 0.00. The integer parts, the resultant integer parts are collected separately and it has to be written from the top to bottom and this is the final answer we had arrived here. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you find this video really useful, share this video with your friends. Give a small appreciation. Thank you in the comment section. Okay.
Keep supporting Sai Suryas Academy. Thank you.